Hello, this is not a spring chick, and as you can notice, well, I'm wearing the Union Jack, and part of that is because the London Olympics are going on, and today we were cooking Old World style. Actually, they say Sherwood Forest style? Yes, beef and scones. Now, as the British are not known for their food, but it was really, really good. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a lot of Olympic coverage going on, and you can, of course, catch it all of our site, whether it's moneybubbles.net or MBN News Video Web. Meanwhile, we're going to bring Old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. I, just, I was just trying to get you some. <laughs> I noticed you're wearing your 3M boot camp clothes. Yeah. <coughs> Bless yeah. you. Does anybody think that that's <coughs> Bless you, why Sneasels. I'm doing this? Because the weather is <coughs> the weather is warm and humid there, and it's basically not warm and humid in Los Angeles. Oh, it's just, it's like, so you're yeah. adjusting to the temperature oh, yeah. changes. <laughs> Oh, you get to be blowing my, blow my nose on camera. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to get in the handkerchief. So anyway, as you notice, he has a 3M auto. This is from 3M Auto Boot Camp, yep. which we just got back from. So you're wearing all of that, but do they know it's all over for the Republicans? Oh, yeah. The President of the United States is just... Uh, the first thing that Mitt Romney is going to do as president is raise taxes on the middle class so he can cut taxes on the wealthy. No. He wants to extend the Bush tax cuts, who are mostly for the middle class and very little for the wealthy folks. Uh, it's called a tax cut, unlike Obama, who is prepared to let the taxes raise on the middle class so he can have so he can raise enough money to pay for his spending for five days. There's seven days in a week. Mm -hmm. Chick-fil-A supporters turn out in droves for Appreciation Day. Oh God, it was a total disaster for the left-wing Democrats. We're going to shut these places down. There was basically no... Uh, okay, what happens is, if you're working, you don't want to shut places down. If you're not working, you come there, but you're overwhelmed by the people that are going in that are working and basically don't want to lose their jobs. And I mean, Okay, so far, the president's attacks on business people have been a total failure. Every time he tries it with his party, the businesses basically win the day. Now, in a, okay, this is like, we're going to shut businesses down by striking these businesses, and they're going to have to meet our demands. And then they just hire new people to take their jobs. So. Actually, I was talking to someone else the other day, and they said basically that, Working at McDonald's sounds really appealing because then they, and I was laughing, I said, oh, then you get a regular paycheck? And they said, yep. Oh, God, we know people in the industry that basically are doing, holding down three and four jobs now because they lost their well-paying media job. Actually, it's more, really more than you would think in this industry. I mean, uh, it's just, it, sometimes it's a matter of a few bucks whether you can make it, you know. It, it, there, we know people that are getting next to nothing for their work mm -hmm. because there's no employment in this world anymore. And, yeah, <laughs> well, no, they're they, very underpaid for what they would do. Oh, God, I mean, when they're charging a couple of bucks for a photograph that they used to get a mm -hmm. hundred for, you know that it's hurting. And boxing judges under fire amid fixed claims. Well, they're always under fire. Okay, here the problem is the judges tend to let the people that they're of their countries win matches. And then, uh, then they basically, well, you know, here, here the trick is. They don't trust the judges' scores in most events, which is why they have Olympic, a, a bunch of Olympic people overseeing everything. And then they sit there, well, uh, let's see, we scored it. 10 to 1 in favor of the guy that lost, and the judges scored a 10 to 1 in favor of the one that won. Guess whose card gets paid attention to? I mean, yesterday, they, uh, they overruled, okay, they, they had one thing yesterday where a woman had her gold medal taken from her because a judge said, well, we're sorry the time ran out, unfortunately, but uh, by the time that uh, the Olympic Committee weighed in, no, the official time did not run out, but it just so happened that the woman, the judge in the case, happened to represent the country, country of the one that won the uh, fencing medal. Oh, was that the one? Yeah, oh, the, that they had the, a the discrepancy little, in time. Yeah, you know, the little girl just simply said, basically, "F you" with the medal, and then went back to her country. And basically, now they got a problem because the person that won the medal didn't win the medal, and the yeah. person that did win the medal has told them where they could take their medal and put it. This may be in the history of the Olympics. The worst officiated. And it basically Take the, your metal and the Olympics are coming oh to an end because there's too much money involved in it.
-hmm. and it's easy to sway judges now. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Michael Phelps, the greatest Olympian of all time. Oh yeah, he just won his 16th gold medal today. So 16th. 16 gold medals. So he's got four medals out of the six, four medals out of the six. He's He's got two more races to compete, and I think they're team things. But uh, well, because Beijing was huge for him. I mean, because part of it is with swimming. There's a lot of different individual yeah. competitions. The problem is, is that what is wrong with the American team is that it's not our training. It's just the fact you can't have people that are in their late twenties competing against people that are 14, 15, and 16 years of age. There's a difference, because. Okay, a person that has went to their first, going to their first Olympics has something going for them that Michael Phelps in his third Olympics does not have, and it's adrenaline. Mm -hmm. They get the rush, and that rush is all they need to hit that thing right before the Phelps. Oh, race. you know what? He did have that one where he didn't give that extra. He just glided towards the end, and he missed the medal. That's right. And boxing judges under fire and fix claims. Yeah, exactly. That was oh, yeah, that's right. Well, the Chinese team kills eight in a knife attack. Oh, and, and the Democratic Party is throwing a fit. We have to have an investigation into somebody using a knife to kill eight people. We may have to add uh, knives to the assault weapon band, and then that sounds sort of stupid, doesn't it? But it's not as stupid as you think, because there was some idiot in the Democratic Party that wants to ban... Um, what about kitchen knives? <laughs> he, he wants to ban. Butter knives. He wants to ban knives. because these are deadly weapons, and eight people were killed. Uh, I'm going to I try to go as far as explaining. When my my father went to my father went to school like in the 1910s, there was a teacher in my one of my father's uh, back there. They were in trade class, so a trade um, school back then. Teacher took. A two before and killed about a dozen people with a two before, and uh, you do not need guns to kill people. If you've got whatever happens to get in your hands at the moment, you can kill people with. That's but the right. Democrats have never understood that. And Romney is it? <laughs> Romney better move to the right. Says embolden the Tea Party. Well, the Tea Party is basically winning. They're doing exactly what they do. They win elections, and they don't care about social issues. They want the government to stop spending, and Romney only had the nomination because Romney is a big spending Republican. He, I mean, the, the reason why he lost his job in Massachusetts was because, not because he wasn't taxing, but because he was spending too much money. I mean, they, they really hated Obama, uh, his version of Romney care, because everyone with a half a brain knows that the government cannot control the cost of medical care without cutting back medical care. And GOP hits Obama on lobbyist meetings at Caribou. I know, but so it wouldn't show up on the White House records. Him and his people were having private meetings with people that, I, oh, okay, I, they, we know that, you know, that Rex worships the ground the president walks on, like Bill O'Reilly and Juan Williams, but um, we kind of cover his ears. The president actually thought no one would snitch on him and his people if he had meetings at restaurants with people. What? That no one would notice. Da, 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 as the president walks into a building, are that Secret Service agents, the military, and the fleet? You know, as the as the thing comes up, nobody would notice that. Yeah, right. <laughs> he actually thought that no one would notice a presidential parade to a restaurant. Well, they also have them check out the entire restaurant before anyone shows up. Yeah, they're everywhere. I mean, I mean you know, they, basically, a guy died a couple of weeks ago from a presidential visit because he didn't realize how much it was going to ruin his business for the day. When you have virtually no money coming in and the president decides to have a meal there, it shuts down your restaurant for the day and the night, so you, you lose everything because they're not, he says, not like the White House because people are big tippers. Uh-huh. Cause, yeah, because they thought they were doing you the honor of being yeah, there. Yeah, and it, it destroyed his business. He, he died, uh, died of a heart attack when he found out how much money he cost him and he lost. Oh, no. Um, GOP hits Obama on lobbyist meetings at Caribou. I know. She, oh yeah, we did talk about that. Laser fires, laser fires pulses more powerful than all world's electric plants. That is why you don't fire laser things at airplanes because it basically can cause a blindness of a pilot. <laughs> <laughs> Vampire bat bites make jungle dwellers immune to rabies. Oh yeah, but this is what it does. You go. 
<laughs> it zombifies them because there are they're they're including protection from zombies in Obamacare. <laughs> Zombie bites are dangerous, and vampire bats basically who don't bite people because vampire bats are basically they eat fruit. They're a fruit bat, folks. They're not a they're not a they're not a blood cutting bat. They're you, a fruit you know, bat. I'm laughing. Is this for all those people that actually think that there are real zombies and stuff that they put them? In? Oh, there are members of the Democratic Party that think that zombies are, they see zombies in movies and they think it's for real. Well, the people do. That. Well, they talk about the zombies on Amer AMC. You know, the zombies are getting out of control in Atlanta, Georgia. <laughs> and a Monty Bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That um, oh, uh, that if you think something is going to be expensive and it turns out to be as expensive as you thought it was, then what do you have to complain about? 